How you doing, everyone? I'm Andy. Let's talk about the new Throne album, or EP. I don't know what it's called. 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of short albums. <laughs> doing podcasts, reviewing stuff, all that kind of shit. Dude, make them five minutes. Who gives a fuck? Just call them an album. I don't know if this counts as an album or not. It's 20 minutes. Uh, it's in the album section of Spotify. We've had a lot of beef on this podcast. Oh, by the way. I do a podcast. If you like this review, listen to it. It comes out Friday. I think you'll fuck with it. We're all a bunch of grumpy cunts. Uh, it's a good time. But, um, yeah, I don't even know if it counts as a fucking album or whatever the hell. It's like 20 minutes, but I don't mind. As a man who wants to consume every piece of content there ever was, I'm on a never-ending journey to, never ender, never ending journey to consume all the content. 20 minutes album are pretty sick, but uh, it works real well for Throne. Their new album, what was it called again? I listened to it yesterday. I have bad memory. How are you guys doing? Ex excessive guilt. Um, it was fucking great. I haven't been listening to Throne for a while. Found out about them recently. I think a fan of the podcast like hit me up about them. They're like, you'd fuck with this band. And whoever that fan was is right. I fuck with them a lot. They're very good. They're very catchy. They're very uh, to the point. They really work well with whatever's wrong with my head. Whatever's wrong with my head um, that doesn't let me pay attention to shit for extended periods of time. It works really well. Uh, Two-minute songs, gotta love them. <laughs> gotta fucking love them. And then mix that with uh, rap rock energy. It's not full-blown like rap rock, new metal, or whatever the fuck, but just same energy. I think they throw in a turntable here and there. It's just good. It's just all go. <laughs> and sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need an album that's real deep and heady and it takes you on an emotional journey. But then another. sometimes you just need an album that, you know, just feels like a bar fight. <laughs> just feels like a bar fight that you had to take. Uh, you had to take off your fitted Yankees hat and <laughs> told your friend, yo, yo, hold this while I fight this guy. <laughs> It's just one of those moments. You guys know. It's just one of those days. You guys know what that's like. Um, but yeah, man, I like the uh, the thing that stuck out about this album out of the gate. It was 20 minutes, 11 songs. And that reminds me of like when I was, I remember I was reading books about like the Ramones and punk rock and shit back in the day. And like the Ramones would come out and they would do uh, like a 20 song set in like 17 minutes. You know, obviously it's not the exact same. It's a little bit a little bit flip, but it's still fucking quick. You know what I mean? Like when I saw it and it said 20 minutes, well, it was funny. I was like scrolling through the album and I just keep scrolling and I'm like, that's a lot of songs. How long is this? Cause like you, you don't, especially with bands like this, you don't normally get more than 40 minutes. So I was like, damn, did they hit you with like a fucking hour? Cause like the only bands nowadays that do like a fucking hour are like mainstream bands and shit like that. Um, but like, Anyone besides that, they hit you with a clean 30 or 40, which I'll say a thousand times, big fan of. Um, but I was like scrolling through. I was like, damn, is this like a whole fucking hour? And then when it said 20 minutes, I go, oh, that real peak, that really piqued my interest. So I hopped into the album uh, and it just goes. It just goes and goes and goes. Uh, I don't really know how it stacks up against previous Throne albums, but this definitely makes me want to get into their catalog a lot deeper and shit like that uh because the way that they write songs it j they just cut out the fat i don't know if this is like let me check like their old their other albums and how how it works with that because just the way that they um write songs on here it really is just oh is this their only album no shit looks like they got some eps oh extended pain that rules oh so they're like Oh, wait, I remember this band because one of my buddies was telling me to check them out like a couple months ago. That's right, because I have a couple of their songs saved in here. Yeah, Look at Me and Backfire. That's right. I checked them out a couple months ago, and I was like, I was thinking, I don't know. I don't know. People always try to call hardcore bands like industry plants and shit, which I, I know there are some. And we've also dissected on this channel, like, my feelings on industry plant, like, you know, everyone's an industry plan if you don't like them <laughs> but then there's a million stars who would be considered an industry plant that you're like but you like them so who gives a fuck so the term industry plant if you really break it down is based off of if you like the artist or not uh because at a certain point 
at a certain point, everyone's kind of an industry plant as long as they have, if they have a record label or any sort of team behind them, they're an industry plant. But you know, from the looser version of that definition, I got intrigued out of the gate. Like, is there something up with these guys? Cause they didn't even have a full album and they were still at like, um, they were at like a million listens a month. And I go, what the fuck's going on around here? Maybe someone in the comments could explain that to me. Uh, cause there's definitely, you know, if you're a band, you only have one EP and a couple singles and you're at a million listen, you're at a million listens a month. That's something, something's going on there. And I'm not even saying it's nefarious cause you listen to the music and the music feel good. What I was saying earlier is that like you, 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 you get into this stuff, the music's like right to the point, hard hitting out of the gate, doesn't waste any time, doesn't give you any extra bullshit. It's just fucking good. And honestly, at this point. This was like, I was listening to this band, uh, End It, who's like in the hardcore scene. They're like pretty popular, you know what I mean? Not, they're not like popular, popular, but in the context of like hardcore and the Northeast and stuff like that, they're a dope, um, they're a dope uh, Baltimore hardcore band. And, you know, you go and you're like, oh yeah, a lot of people are talking about them. Let me check it out. Oh, they've written, they've released 25 minutes worth of music. <laughs> and that's, you get that a lot with, and I, I, I don't know if I necessarily have like a good gauge on this, like, cause I'm the, the genre I'm obsessed with is hardcore, but I think hardcore is like this more so than other genres where you, you can get these names, you can get these bands that in the context of hardcore, they don't have that much music. Like speed's the best example. They, in uh speed and probably uh tsunami who I've had people furious with me before that I compared them together. And I go, I think it's fair. You actually literally compare anything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I did a video where I compared uh, Speed to Tsunami and people got mad at me. But um, no, like uh, Speed and Tsunami are the best examples for this where Speed like, I don't, I know Tsunami hasn't released a full length. Speed might have i gotta double check that i don't think i don't think speed released a full length yet and they're like pretty big you know in the context of all this shit you gotta put yeah they just put out only one mode but that one even yeah that one even was like 23 minutes long so they haven't put out a lot of music and they're like fairly big you know like they're oh they're going around they're opening up for pretty big bands i know they're like both of these bands were on tour with uh kubla Khan. uh i can't remember specifics but i know these bands were definitely opening up for some pretty big bands and shit like that in the world of hardcore but i don't i don't know it seems like a unique thing to hardcore uh because i think fans are more excited to go see these bands because it's a lot of it's about like the live show and stuff like that so it's like you can kind of get into these bands without really hearing any of their music. It's all a lot of it's all excitement in the moment. So, you know, when I go bring it back to Throne, when I see a band like Throne, obviously you have the initial uh, inquiry and like, how the fuck is a band getting a million? Um, how the fuck is a band getting a million monthly listens? in only and they don't even have a full-length album out yet they don't they have like barely any fucking music i just think it's the way of hardcore whereas you put out a couple singles people just people are excited people are excited for this music so i think that explains all the heavy monthly listens or you know they're just a industry plant paying someone that's the other option <laughs> but uh i don't know i could uh i could i could see this being genuine because like i was saying before the music fucks the music hits hard the music just goes they cut out it's just a lot of fat getting cut out but the songs don't seem too short you know they're all about a they're all about two two and a half minutes long and it all just like feels right um i would say my only minor complaint maybe get a little bit of uh variety from song to song but also i only rocked uh you know it's i'm posting this on saturday i could only listen to this album so many times you know that got to keep that in mind uh, i should have said that earlier i try to try to let everybody know how many listens i've gotten into i've gotten in on this album so everyone can keep that in context but you know it, but i don't know it's i also don't i'm biased on this genre so it's like if um if it's similar you're like who the fuck cares you know what i mean i've made the analogy before it's like if you saw 
you know, if you were a straight man and you saw a bunch of butts, a bunch of, well, you know, everyone can get on. Everyone likes butts. If you're just a person who likes butts and you saw a bunch of butts and they were all just like similar, you're not going to be like, these are all the same butts. I don't want to look at any of these butts. You're like, no, they're still butts. They still rule pretty, like butts still rule pretty hard. So, you know what I mean? In this particular world, like, I don't know. I feel different about other genres I'm not excited about, but I am biased. So I'm a fan of these type of butts. So if you show, if you show me, if you give me 11 very similar butts in 20 minutes, I ain't going to be mad about it, but that's my bias. All right. That's enough of me. Thanks for watching podcast every Friday. Check it out. Be about it. Peace.